This program is brought to you as a community service of BAF Insurance. The views, opinions, and advice expressed by guests on this show are those of the guests and do not reflect the views, opinions, and advice of BAF Insurance. For medical advice, please visit your medical professional. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your Health, Your Wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. Welcome to Your Health, Your Wealth with Desiree and Chuck Taylor on Bobo Radio. Thank you for listening. Please stay with us for the next hour as we share health tips and chat with our special guests who will be discussing nutrition because we can't have good health without good nutrition. Des will tell us more about our special guests in just a few minutes. Welcome everyone to Your Health, Your Wealth, brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your Health, Your Wealth airs every Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. right here on 89.1 FM Bobo Radio. So remember to tune in each week and tell a friend. You can also catch the shows you missed on YouTube on the Be Well, Be Healthy for Life channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I am very happy to speak with our special guest today, because it is so easy to think you're eating well and healthy without realizing that there is so much more to nutrition. That's right, Chuck. It's not just about eating salads and taking vitamins. So I'm inviting you to stay with us and tell a friend to listen in as we have a conversation with our guest, Jennifer West of Meals on Wheels. But before that, one of the things we often hear about when it comes to eating for our health is to be careful of how much sugar we eat. Lady K, your wellness coach, is going to talk to us about the dangers of hidden sugars. You know something, Chuck? I just found out recently that there is an obesity issue in Cayman. It didn't dawn on me before, but so many of the foods that are staples on our diet are filled with sugar, hidden sugars. I'm sure you're going to start looking at more closely what you're eating and drinking when you pack in those hidden sugars. Let's listen in as Lady K shares with us. And remember, the podcast, Be Well, Be Healthy for Life, is also sponsored by BAF Global Group and can be found on YouTube. Her episodes are released weekly on the BAF Facebook page as well. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance, Providers of quality, affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. Today on Be Well, Be Healthy for Life, Lady K, your wellness coach, talks about the danger of hidden sugars. Hello again, and welcome to Be Well, Be Healthy for Life. Today, I want to start by telling you a true story about a friend of mine recently diagnosed as pre-diabetic and told to watch her sugar intake. She's mid-50s, very active, slim build, and her diet is comprised of mainly fresh fish, vegetables, nuts, and fruits. She also drinks lots of water, homemade unsweetened juices, and protein smoothies every day. Naturally, we were both stunned by the diagnosis until we took the time to break down her diet into the base components. This is where we found the culprit, hidden sugars. Many of us are not aware of how much sugar we consume on a daily basis unless we actually taste the sugar. But the reality is that many of the foods we eat either contain sugar or get broken down into sugar by our bodies. My friend's natural veggie juices often consisted of apples, carrots, and beets, all of which contain sugar. Her daily shake is made up of vanilla pea protein powder, frozen fruits, and some type of 100% juice as the liquid. Again, these ingredients contain large amounts of sugar. Once we were able to identify the hidden sugars, we were well on our way to revising her diet to slow and or prevent the onset of diabetes. Are you consuming hidden sugars that could be impacting your health? And with the exception of diabetes, which we already know, how does too much sugar affect your health? If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, remember to subscribe and share this with your friends. They'll thank you for it. 
And don't forget, hit the notification button so you'll always know when we have new episodes. There are simple and complex sugars. The simple sugars we know to look out for. Things like white or brown cane sugar, honey, fruit sugars, and other sweeteners that we can easily identify. The complex sugars are those that were found in carbohydrates, such as bread, rice, potatoes, yams, as well as peas, beans, and similar foods. Our bodies turn both simple and complex sugar into glucose or blood sugar to be used for energy. Yet this is not the best source of sustainable energy. Our bodies use sugar very quickly, and so it is very much a temporary source of energy. That quick burst of energy we get from eating or drinking something sweet is usually followed by a crash, causing decreased energy, often confusion or brain fog. Cravings, weight gain, heart disease, sleep disorder, mood swings, skin issues and tooth decay are just a few more of the bad side effects of having too much sugar. Now let's get back to the matter of the hidden sugar in our diets. White rice is a staple in our diet. It's affordable, filling, goes with anything, including every gravy. But it is a highly refined complex carbohydrate that turns into sugar more rapidly than brown rice. And it's therefore associated with a higher risk for diabetes. Bread, boiled or fried dumplings, Irish potatoes and yams are also staples in our diet. But just like rice, they too turn into sugar rapidly. Sauces, syrups, salad dressing, and condiments are notorious for hidden sugars. The next time you pick up a bottle of ketchup, or a barbecue sauce, marinade, pancake syrup, or even your favorite creamy salad dressing, take a look at that nutritional label. You're gonna be surprised by just how much hidden sugars you're consuming in those small amounts that add up to larger amounts at the end of the day. As we age, our body's ability to process and use sugar actually decreases. This is partially due to the slowing down of our metabolic rate, or simply put, we use less energy as we age. If we're still consuming the same amount of sugar at the same pace, but our bodies are using less, then the results can be devastating. So if you're not already doing it, today is the day to start keeping track of the hidden sugars in the food you eat and then making an effort to eat less. Our bodies need some sugar, but too much of a good thing can turn bad. Be well, be healthy for life is brought to you by BAF Global Group. Remember, always consult your doctor before starting any new health and wellness regimen. BAF Global Group offers life, health, and general insurance plus a full suite of financial solutions in the Bahamas, life insurance in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and affordable individual and group health insurance in the Cayman Islands. Visit us at mybafsolutions.com. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance, providers of quality affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. And it's time for us to introduce our special guest today, Des. Our special guest today is Jennifer West of Meals on Wheels. And she's here to talk to us about the important work the organization is doing to keep Caymanians healthy by providing nutritious meals for those in need. Welcome, Jennifer, to Your Health, Your Wealth. Let me start by making a statement. As one of the most expensive places to live, the Cayman Islands is also thought of as one of the places where salaries are high, and therefore, everyone lives well and no one is in need or hungry. 
Is this a fact or just a myth? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Um, a lot of people assume that there is no poverty, that there is no hunger, and that there is no one in need in the Cayman Islands. Sadly, that is not true. Every age bracket is facing the same problem. Uh, Meals on Wheels, we specifically work with seniors. And for most of our seniors, the meal that they receive from Meals on Wheels is the only hot meal that they receive each day. We all have access to food. Unfortunately, what we all learned during the pandemic is that we don't need to just eat food, but we need to eat healthy, nutritious, balanced food. Mm -hmm. And that is what Meals on Wheels provides for over 300 seniors every single day across Grand Cayman. Tell us about the Meals on Wheels and what it is exactly that the organization does. How many meals per week to how many households? So Meals on Wheels provides hot meals and soups to seniors in all five districts. We are providing 333 meals at this time each day. So you times that by five. Um, wow. Did, pa, 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 pause for a second. That's an organizational machine that you're talking about right there. Absolutely. When volunteers come into our kitchen for the first time, they look around and go, wow, this is a well-oiled machine. Exactly. Because not only are we providing a hot meal, it is not a standard plate. Every mm -hmm. one of our seniors is treated as an individual. Right. So if someone is diabetic, if someone has an allergy, if someone suffers from hypertension, That's what if someone is ask. bedridden, mm -hmm. their plate is not the same as their neighbor. Yes. Um, so we definitely cater to that individual. And that is so important for our seniors as well to know that they are cared for and they are loved. The visit from our volunteer is, is what really adds that touch. And we always say we deliver more than just a meal. It's not just about the food. Isolation and loneliness is a huge part of what our seniors are facing. We all get up and we go to work or we drive our cars and we go visit friends and we spend time with families. Unfortunately for a lot of our seniors, transport transportation is not available. And the other thing is, where do they go? There's really not a lot on island for our seniors to participate in. Mm -hmm. So that drop-in visit from our volunteers is huge. And we rely on 130 volunteers per week to deliver these meals. We are a staff of three. So this is a huge undertaking. We have four community kitchens, and it really is a massive operation that could not exist without the support of our entire community. If someone wanted to sign up as a volunteer, whether to um, provide the food that you actually have to prepare or if they want to be one of the persons that helps with delivery, how do they get in touch with you and how is that arranged? Okay, so it's a real simple process to get started. Anyone who's interested in volunteering to deliver meals can sign up with us at our website, www.mealsonwheels.ky. You click on the volunteer link and there is a Google form on there that you sign up to apply and you express your interest. And our volunteers really only sign up to deliver one day a week. What you do do, however, is you get the same route each week. So you develop a relationship with the same mm. seniors. And they get used to, okay, on Tuesday, Chuck is coming to drop my meals off. And nice. on a Tuesday when Chuck does not come, they're going to ask for Chuck. Mm -hmm. And so it's also a good way to help. Dementia is, is something that we're really seeing a lot of. And even just them knowing the routine of which volunteer is coming to deliver. So you, if, if I'm, say... In West Bay, I can deliver in West Bay because Absolutely. I'm already in West. Okay, correct. Excellent. So Excellent. we ask people to specify which district they're interested in delivering in, um, and of course, our volunteers always go above and beyond. If you know that there's, there's a senior on that route that their birthday is on Thursday, but you deliver on Tuesday, you know you're going to drop in and visit them on Thursday anyway, mm -hmm. and just um, you know extend that extra appreciation and love to them. So our volunteers are absolutely incredible. If somebody wants to find out more or volunteer by donating goods, for example, we have some backyard farmers, some people that just have plants in their yard, and all of a sudden you have too many green bananas, too many breadfruit, absolutely Meals on Wheels is always looking because that is what our seniors eat. Right. The other thing is our plates are not fancy, you know, up-and-coming plates. Our mm -hmm. seniors want their traditional Cayman food. They, they, so they want, want some Exactly ground provision <laughs> exactly and so we know the cost is the cost of living we we all understand what that is like right now so for meals on wheels it has been a challenge we provide these meals absolutely free of charge to every single senior that is on our list so it is critical for us to get the support of the community whether it is in financial donations or whether it's goods in kind 
there really is a way that every single person in the community can get involved and lend a hand to our seniors. What about if someone wants to actually come into one of the kitchens and help the prepare the meals or help to plate the meals? Do you have, um, do you have a need for that as well? Um, right now, we are still really managing high safety protocols. So unless someone is a chef and has their food safety handling certificates, we really only use our volunteer, um, our kitchen crew. So each kitchen has a head chef and their crew that does the plating. Mm -hmm. We do have people that come and help distribute those, um, those boxed meals already to the volunteers, but not necessarily in the kitchen unless you have the proper um, Certifica certifications. Certifica and obviously, with dealing with our seniors, we take, we go beyond, above and beyond to make sure that everything is safer than, quote unquote, the norm. Got a question for you. Um, I, I know uh, a lot of uh, companies are out here in Cayman. Uh, if someone w was in a company and they wanted to get involved uh, financially or, or, or with, with staffing or helping, how, how could they do that? Is there a corporate level that we can look forward to outside of an individual? Absolutely. So we do have some teams of um, companies that they adopt a route is what we call it. Um, and so they rotate. So they might have an Eastern Avenue route and they deliver on a Tuesday. But it's not necessarily the same person, however, they're from the same company. So if there's eight people working in a company, it means that you go and deliver once every two months. Mm -hmm. um, so it also helps alleviate one person having a demanding job and maybe not being able to get out every single week. Uh, we also have companies that they do volunteer days. And this is something that I love. More and more companies are really taking this on where you close down your office for a few hours and you take your staff out into the community to support in a way and so when we have companies that come in on days like that, we also encourage them to actually donate the funds for the meals that they're going to deliver that day. Mm -hmm. And right now, um, it would cost about $2,500 a day is what it's costing us to provide these meals. Um, and really, that is keeping it slim. Mm -hmm. We are trying to maintain operational costs to a minimum, although the cost of living and the cost of food and supplies and packaging continues to increase. Some of the items that we use has almost tripled in the last two years. Um, but definitely, if a company wants to reach out, they can email us at info at mealsonwheels.ky or they can give us a call at 769-1974. And there's always ways to get involved um, with companies as well. Just a quick reminder, if you're coming from East End and making your way into Georgetown, we're glad you're choosing to listen to us this morning. Hey, Des, do you know what time it is? What time is it? It's that special time when we reach out to one of our wonderful representatives from BAF, and they tell us in three minutes all the wonderful things about the company. Cool. Who do we have this morning? We have Miss Anne this morning, one of your colleagues. Good. Great. And she only has three minutes, right? Only three minutes. On your mark, get set, go. First question, what do you do at BAF Insurance? I am the supervisor at BAF Insurance. I manage the daily administrative function and customer service. If you could choose one thing that makes BAF stand out from the other insurance companies for your clients, what would that one thing be? We provide exceptional customer service to all our clients, irrespective of the level of service required. When someone applies for health insurance with BAF, how long does it take for them to be approved and for the insurance to become effective? Our turnaround time for approval is three to five business days. If the policy is approved between the 1st to the 15th of the month, the policy becomes effective the 1st of that month. If it's after the 15th, then it becomes effective the 1st of the following month. So tell me a little bit now about the claims process. If I have a BAF health insurance plan, and I make a claim, how quickly can I expect to have my claim settled? The turnaround time for claim settlement is three to five business days, provided that the claim form is filled out with the correct information. We also have an online portal through which providers can submit their claims, which help to make the process a lot more efficient. And Miss Ann, if someone wanted to get in contact with you, how would they be able to do that? You can call us at 949 5089 or my direct number is 814-2522. Great. Time's up, Anne. If you're just joining us, you're listening to Your Health, Your Wealth with Desiree and Chuck on Bobo Radio. We're here with you until 7.30 a.m., 
with a host of health tips and information as well as a special guest to help you and your loved ones live healthier, happier lives. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance as a community service because at BAF, your health is our priority. Remember to stay on top of your regular health checkups because as always, the more you know about your health, the easier it will be for you to stay healthy. Our guest today is Jennifer West from Meals on Wheels. And we talked earlier about the work the organization is doing to keep Caymanians healthy by providing nutritious meals. We're going to invite her back shortly, but before we do, it's time for Lady K to bring some more health tips. Earlier, Lady K spoke about the dangers of hidden sugar. This time around, she'll talk to us about good fats versus bad fat. She'll talk to us about good fat versus bad fats. You can check out Lady K on her Be Well, Be Healthy for Life YouTube channel. Her podcast, Be Well, Be Healthy for Life, is sponsored by BAF Global Group and episodes are released weekly on the BAF Facebook page as well. Let's listen in as she explains to us the difference between good fats and bad fats and how they affect our health. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance, providers of quality affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. Today on Be Well, Be Healthy for Life, Lady K, your wellness coach, talks about good fat, bad fat. Whenever someone talks about fat in our diets, the tendency is to immediately think fats are bad for us. That's what most of us have been told. But just like an exciting police drama with the good cop and the bad cop, there are good fats and bad fats. Let's talk about those today. We've heard it all before. Be careful of how much fat you eat because it can cause a host of health problems. From obesity to heart disease, fatty liver to digestive tract issues, fats can be the enemy. But this is not true of all fats. The body needs some fats for our cells to operate effectively, so it's all about balance. There's a host of scientific terms and jargons to explain why our bodies need fat and how it is utilized, but let's just keep it simple for today. The truth is, a small amount of fat is an essential part of a healthy, balanced diet. Fat gives our bodies energy, supports the function of our cells, and help to maintain body heat. Vitamins A, D, and E are fat soluble and our bodies need fat in order to absorb and use them. Some fats such as essential fatty acids are not produced by our bodies but are essential to keeping us healthy. Now that we've acknowledged that, let's get to the matter of good and bad fats. Now is a good time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit the notification bell also so you know when we have new episodes that have been uploaded. I like receiving bad news first, so let's talk about the bad fats before getting into the good stuff. When it comes to eating, the fats we want to avoid or minimize are those that are high in saturated fat and triglycerides. Saturated fats are found in meats, animal-based products, full-fat dairy products, eggs, and tropical oils such as coconut oil. I'll stick a pin here, and I'm gonna come back to coconut oil in just a minute. Saturated fats generally become solid at room temperature. That's the same way they form solid particles or plaque in your blood vessels, and they cause blockages. And we all know that blocked arteries can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Saturated fats are often present in large amounts in commercially produced pastries, fried foods, microwave popcorn, and prepackaged foods. It's the fats such as lard, margarine, and real butter that helps to make them taste so delicious. But it's that same fat that's so dangerous for our health. 
The worst type of fats you can consume are trans fats. Trans fat is a product of a process known as hydrogenation, which turns perfectly healthy oils into solids to prevent them from going bad and extending shelf life. Trans fats have no redeeming qualities. They have zero health benefits and they're completely unsafe for human consumption. So I promise to come back to coconut oil. If you grew up in the islands, you're probably well acquainted with coconut oil. Often freshly made at home, there is some evidence to suggest that although coconut oil is a saturated fat, its molecular structure is different from that of most saturated fats, making it good for you. There's also studies and evidence that contradicts that. So do your own research from multiple different sources before deciding if coconut oil is right for you. Now let's get to the good fats. Monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats are good fats. Monounsaturated fats are healthy fats found in olive oils, delicious avocados, and some nuts. Monounsaturated fats can help you lose weight, reduce inflammation, and are better for your heart health. They may even help lower bad LDL cholesterol levels and help you maintaining the overall health of your cells. Polyunsaturated fats can be found in fish, oils such as sunflower and soybean oil, in flax seeds and walnuts. Although this isn't a dietary fat, keep an eye on your triglycerides. When we eat, our bodies convert excess calories into triglycerides. These triglycerides can also cause hardening and thickening of the artery walls, leading to strokes, heart disease, and heart attacks. Most of our body fat is made up of triglycerides, so eating healthy and being careful about your calorie intake is also important, even if you aren't consuming a lot of bad fats. As we age, it becomes more important that we stay aware of what we eat. Our metabolism slows down with age, and our ability to burn unhealthy fats can lead to serious health conditions. Discuss your food choices with a nutritionist or your doctor and read food labels carefully to ensure you're not unknowingly eating saturated or trans fats. Although you may have to sacrifice a little taste or spend a little bit more now, your health will thank you for it. Be well, be healthy for life is brought to you by BAF Global Group. Remember, always consult your doctor before starting any new health and wellness regimen. BAF Global Group offers life, health, and general insurance plus a full suite of financial solutions in the Bahamas, life insurance in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and affordable individual and group health insurance in the Cayman Islands. Visit us at mybafsolutions.com. Thank you, Lady Kay, for that information. Um, Chuck, didn't you think it was interesting the part where she mentioned coconut oil? Because I know we use quite a bit of coconut oil here in the Caribbean. But I like that she said, you know, go ahead, do some research and find out. I really appreciate that. It's a great way of looking at how our region is affected by good fats and bad fats. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your Health, Your Wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. It's time to welcome back our guest, Jennifer West of Meals on Wheels. Jennifer, welcome back to Your Health, Your Wealth. In this segment, let's talk about what it takes to run the Meals on Wheels program. Where do you get the food, the staff, and how does Meals on Wheels fund its efforts? What can we do as a community to help? Thank you again for welcoming me back. So Meals on Wheels, as we mentioned before, is quite a huge operation. There's a staff of three that we are two full-time and one part-time staff, and we rely very heavily on volunteers. We have over 130, vol 130 volunteers that support us each week to help deliver those meals. So the food that we serve is probably 95% purchased by whole, um, through the wholesalers that we have on island. At times, we do get calls from some of our distributors saying we have an item that we either got overstock um, or something that is soon to expire. We've got, you know, too many bananas. Can you come in and get them? Mm -hmm. But for the most part, we are having to purchase all the food that we are providing to our seniors, all the containers that the meal and the soup goes in every day. 
So the funding from that comes from, we do have a government grant. We thank the government for supporting Meals on Wheels for the last 25 years. Um, we have companies that make um, significant donations. We host usually four fundraisers for the year that are Meals on Wheels of, um, signature fundraisers. And then we have generous individuals in the community that understand the importance of our organization. Meals on Wheels is an international organization. And so just the name alone, for some people, they go, we understand what it is. Or my parents benefited from Meals on Wheels. So mm -hmm. we definitely want to support. And so there's never too little that somebody can give or never too much, actually. Um, we have schools that will host a dress down day or somebody will just bring in a piggy bank and say, you know, I wanted to to make sure that somebody can have something to eat. With all the movement and stuff that you guys have, are there any specific things that you're working on now? Well, we are in the month of March, and for the first time in Cayman, we are actually celebrating March for meals. And in the United States, it has been celebrated for 60 years, and it marks when President Nixon at the time put into place some laws that actually support seniors and feeding. So in Cayman, we don't necessarily have the same laws, but we wanted to make sure that we were joining this worldwide movement this year to really vol encourage the community to volunteer, to donate, and also advocate for our seniors, speak out for our seniors. We see it every single day. Some of our seniors are living in houses that really they should not have to live in those conditions. Mm -hmm. We have seniors that they don't have a caregiver. We have seniors that are alone and don't see anyone else except our volunteers. So advocating for a senior is one of the biggest things that the community can do this month. Speak to your MPs, speak to your churches, speak to your neighbors, speak to the family members of those seniors who sometimes I think we forget that we have a voice and we need to use it. So that is really, it's not a fundraiser, it's just an awareness event. And we encourage the entire community to really take this March for Meals and advocate, volunteer, and donate. Another thought just kind of popped into my head. What, um, what happens during the holidays, the school holidays, when the children are out and they're not at school and they're, they don't have access to some, I guess, because of their condition, living conditions or their economic status? I'm so glad you asked that question. Um, every single time that it's a midterm break, Easter, Christmas, summer, we get the same phone calls from seniors because not every family member can afford to put their child in camp or have a nanny at home or a helper. So children are often left home with their grandparents. And what we get is, can you top up our plate? Or can you send an extra meal? Mm -hmm. Because the children were left and there's no food available for them. And we know for a fact that there's no grandparent in this world that would have grandkids at home and would let them go hungry. Mm -hmm. So this Christmas, for example, we actually partner with Feed Our Future. And we sent out grocery bags to the homes of the seniors who had grandkids that we knew were being left without those resources. I'm not sure if you read the article that was in the paper this past Friday that was actually an article talking about how the feeding program is resolving such a great issue in the community. And yes, it is. However, that's until Friday. Mm -hmm. And when the weekend comes along, when the holidays come along, that problem is not being addressed. And I think it's going to take the entire village to really focus on how can we solve this issue. Now, not every single household is struggling, but there are so many children that we know for a fact, like our seniors, that without the support of someone else, they are going hungry. So for our seniors that we know are alone, they don't have the support of family or neighbors, we provide grocery bags. Um, usually we send them out on a Thursday or Friday to get them through the weekends. When we have Christmas, we thank Ogier. They've done it for the last 10 years. They provide massive grocery bags to get the, the seniors through the Christmas holidays. Easter, the same thing, because we only deliver Monday to Friday. We right. know that our key mankind still exists, and we do not want to take that away from anybody. People still cook their Sunday dinner, and they take you know an extra meal over to the neighbor or to granny or to auntie. Mm -hmm. So we know for a fact that the majority of seniors... Um, have someone that is looking out for them. Also, people are not at work, typically on the weekends. So there is someone around to, to help care for and provide for those seniors. So that is why our meals really are only delivered Monday to Friday. But for the people who need the extra support, we do send out groceries. Um, unfortunately, most of it is packaged items because it's hard. We don't have the facilities to keep fresh produce. We're hoping mm -hmm. that we will have a facility real soon. So we'll talk about that in a minute, in a minute if I have the chance. Um, so that's the other thing. A lot of people will call and say, hey, can we donate 
Food items to you, absolutely. Because, again, these groceries are supplemental, and we're sending them out at no cost to our seniors, but we want to make sure that they have access to food no matter whether we can get to them or not. Is there a list on the website with the different um, food items that are, like, I guess, most used? Like, I mean, like, if you use a lot of canned corn or rice or brown sugar or whole wheat flour, is there a list there? There is not a list, but that's a great idea. So I will thank BAF for um, reminding me to put a list up there. There is a list. I mean, a lot of times we get items donated that we can't give to our seniors. But again, because we have children that live, whether in proximity or at home with the grandparents, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily turn away anything. Um, but when we get frosted flakes, we know that we can't send that to an individual senior who has diabetes. Right. Because they will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we go through more things like milk and oats. We try to keep things on the healthier side, low salt, low sodium, low sugar. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely will post a list on our website so that people can see what the real needs are. A lot of our seniors don't even have a microwave or a stove. So the items that we send out definitely has to be considering what they have access to. Right, consumable at that point mm -hmm. of delivery. Yeah. Awesome. And, and, and moving forward, I, I know we're getting wrapping up on time. What is it that you see that we can do to help you? I, 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 we, we always say, oh, you know what, um, we have this to help, we have this. But in your opinion, what is needed now to make Meals on Wheels move forward to the future? One of the biggest things that Meals on Wheels needs right now is our own home. So Meals on Wheels has celebrated 25 years in Cayman, but we do not have our own facility. Uh, we have been allocated a piece of land that we are hoping that we can soon be able to um, break ground and start fundraising on to build. And I'm really excited about this um, project. It's going to take a lot of funding. It's going to take a lot of manpower. It's going to take a lot of people just coming out and saying, hey, I can lend my time, my skill. It is going to house our admin offices, our pickup center for, for meals. It's going to have our largest um, kitchen. Right now we operate our different community kitchens, uh, including the civic centers. But this kitchen will allow us to provide up to 500 meals a day. Um, and this is something that during COVID, we realized no organization, no church, no one had a kitchen large enough to really feed the people that were in need. So whether it's a pandemic or a natural disaster, our kitchen will be able to really step up and provide meals as needed. And we'll also have, a. it's not going to be a very large room, but it's going to be a room, a multi-purpose room that we want to encourage those seniors who are able to get out. And we're going to work with some transportation organizations mm -hmm. that seniors can come and have their a meal center. at Meals on Wheels. We can yes. provide opportunities, whether they're, come, they're going to come and do art or whether they're going to come and they're going to do chair yoga. Mm -hmm. and really just provide a senior recreational center on a very small scale. So we'll stay focused on our clients. We also know that sometimes our clients go to the hospital in the morning for, you know, whether it's dialysis or just a medical check, and then they sit there all day until somebody can take them home. So it, it will be close enough that they can come and they can spend their afternoon at Meals on Wheels, fellowshipping with other seniors, playing dominoes or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that is really a huge project that we're going to be reaching out on a large scale to the community um, for Meals on Wheels to move forward, to know that we have a permanent home, to not just provide meals out of a distribution location, but we're going to be able to cook there. People will be able to drop in and have their meals. People will be able to get their groceries from there, um, those clients that need them. And we'll be able to host other organizations who are very interested in providing activities for our seniors, but there is not a location for them to do that. Jennifer, if someone wants to volunteer, but you know the famous excuse, I would like to, but I don't have time. I leave work late. I have the kids to pick up. Okay, if someone wants to donate, like, grocery cards, like, gift cards for you all to purchase the food items, or if they say, okay, fine, I have, I have like, a thousand food containers, but I don't have a way to get them to you. Can they call and someone will come and collect them from them as well? Yeah, so a lot of times we get calls saying, we have these things, can you come and collect them? And we do a lot of driving around, um, picking up items, and as long as it's something that we absolutely need, yes, we can find a volunteer or one of us will leave the office, 
and go out and collect those items. We don't want somebody's time or lack of transportation to prohibit them from being able to, to donate. So whether it's food containers or I have, you know, all these bread fruits in my backyard, we def we have a vehicle that we thank this very awesome group of young men who um, had a fundraiser for us that we were able to raise to have a vehicle. So we have a, a large van that we go around and we collect donations and sometimes it's even furniture. So it's definitely not just food. Sometimes we have a senior that has a, a broken window or a broken bed or they need, you know, a wheelchair to be replaced. So a lot of times people don't think, what could I do with this item? So it's not just food. We don't want to see things being wasted. We definitely, sometimes we even get calls from events that we've hosted this function and we, we didn't have as many people as we thought. The containers are untouched. Can you use this food? We would definitely prefer for people to reach out um, and offer that food rather than throwing it in the garbage. Uh, there is There are too many people that are going wasteful, hungry. Wasteful, and we really wasteful. need to consider things are not like they used to be long ago. And there are definitely people going hunger, hungry. Senior hunger, child hunger is a major issue around the world and including right here in Cayman. I know growing up you would always say, you better finish that food on that plate because there are children going hungry in Africa. It is no longer in Africa. It is right here. Uh -huh. So we want people to really stop and think about what they're doing. And if it means us going out and collecting things, yes, we will definitely go above and beyond to make sure we get those items. All right. So I want you again to repeat the telephone number where someone can call and get in touch with someone. And also, is there a physical location where someone can come to drop? I know you all don't have a permanent home now, but if you have a physical, even for right now, where people can come and drop off food items or supplies? or So our telephone number is 769-1974. Our website is mealsonwheels.ky, or you can send an email to info at mealsonwheels.ky. Our admin office is located at Trafalgar Place on West Bay Road, so it's a bit far depending on where you live or it's very close if you're from West Bay. Um, you can also drop food items off at Bysmart. Anytime that Bysmart is open, they have been so gracious since COVID to act as a host location for us if people are wanting to drop off um, food items there. Not Nothing refrigerated, so if you do have something that's a cold produce, give us a call at the office and we can make arrangements. Because we have four different community kitchens, it also means if you give us a call and you tell us, hey, we've got, and here's the big one, we've got 20 dozen eggs. Can you use them? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we can use everything. So if somebody calls and they're in Northside, then we send them to our Northside kitchen. Um, if somebody's in Bodentown, we'll direct them to Bodentown. Mm -hmm. So again, that's the thing. Give us a call, let us know what you have and where you're located, and we'll work with our kitchens and our admin side to make sure that things are distributed and shared evenly. It was so nice to have you in studio this morning, and we look forward to speaking to you again shortly. And uh, we're gonna just we're gonna make sure to stay in touch. And I hope everyone that's listening will keep in mind that there's a need in the island, and charity does begin at home. And we do have to practice being our brothers' keepers. I say that all the time. We just have to be cognizant of the fact that everyone is going through something. We need to meet people where they are. We are our brother's keepers, and we need to learn to just love everybody, take care of everybody, make the world a better place. Thank you so much, Miss Jennifer. Thank you for having me. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance, providers of quality affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. And we're back, folks. And guess what time it is? It's time for us to welcome back our special guest, Ann Davis, from BAF Insurance. What is your job title there, Ms. Ms. Ann? I am the supervisor at BAF Insurance Company. How long have you been there? 13 years. Wow, okay. And starting us off for our three minutes, Ms. Ann, what do you love so much about BAF Insurance Company? The company culture, as we have a diverse team. 
We have great support from our head office and we invested in promoting training and professional development of our staff. Every company touts their customer service record, but I've seen BAF actively promoting customer service. What makes BAF customer service so great? There is always a warm, friendly voice on the other side of the line, and representatives are always professional when dealing with clients. When you call BAF, you will be talking with someone who's a people person and one who understands the needs of the client and will go the extra mile to assist. BAF specializes in health insurance. Does your company only offer group health? Tell us a bit about what BAF offers. No, BAF insurance company offer individual policies. We have a plan to suit everyone's needs. BAF offers three individual plans, the standard health insurance contract, the MedSafe Cayman Plus plan, and the Value Plan Enhanced plan. The standard health insurance contract plan, that is something that is like the basic requirement by the government of the Cayman Islands for anyone that is legally residing and working here in the islands, right? That is correct. Okay. What are the phone numbers to contact BAF to contact some of the agents there? Our direct line is 949-5089. You can contact our client service administrator at 814 814- 2526 or the agent, Mr. Mike Adam at 814-2534 or Ms. Sharon Spencer at 814-2542. And I know we're in a the highly technical digital age. Uh, what's the website that people can go to to find a BAF insurance? It's www.mybafsolutions.com. Thank you so much, Ms. Ann. Time's up. That was your three minutes, and Well done, and thanks for coming on the show this morning. Thank you for having me. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge, and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance. Providers of quality, affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority. Well, that's our show. Lady K gave us some tips on how to identify those hidden sugars in our foods as well as the benefits of good fats versus the dangers of bad fats. Remember to check out Lady K's videos on the Be Well, Be Healthy for Life channel on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Those videos are lifesavers. Health tips brought to you free by BAF Insurance. The YouTube channel is Be Well, Be Healthy for Life. And you can also catch up with Your Health, Your Wealth show that you missed on the same channel. We also heard from our guest Jennifer West of Meals on Wheels. I learned so much about the work of Meals on Wheels Cayman. You never see the pictures of need. Whenever we see pictures of the Cayman Islands, it's always smiling residents, amazing sunsets over beautiful beaches and all the great dining and luxury options for visitors. That's right, but there's a real need right here in Cayman. Families who struggle to eat if they don't have services like Meals on Wheels. So please consider supporting this great organization. Until next week, I am Desiree. And I'm Chuck Taylor. Encouraging you to start now to live a healthier, happier life. In celebration of Women's History Month, BAF Insurance salutes the women of the Cayman Islands. We know that everyday women are superheroes every day, helping others, loving and nurturing, taking charge and building our country's future. Happy Women's History Month from BAF Insurance, providers of quality affordable health insurance for individuals and groups of all sizes. Give us a call at 949-5089. This program is brought to you as a community service of BAF Insurance. The views, opinions, and advice expressed by guests on this show are those of the guests and do not reflect the views, opinions, and advice of BAF Insurance. For medical advice, 
please visit your medical professional. Your health, your wealth, your health, your wealth, your health for life. Your health, your wealth is brought to you by BAF Insurance. Your health or priority.